Hello everyone, this is Mena, your crypto friend. In this week's edition of Crypto Mena and Bitpush Weekly Web3 News, I will talk about Genesis cutting jobs considering bankruptcy, DCG under investigation, and SBF pleading not guilty. Tune in for the latest updates on these developments in crypto. After a brutal 2022, the crypto industry has continued to be clouded by negative headlines over the past week. Genesis Global Trading announced another 30% layoff and the closure of wealth management division HQ Digital, bringing the total number of employees down to 145. According to reports, HQ Digital manages more than 3.5 billion in assets. Genesis first announced a 20% layoff last August. The company is working with investment bank Molus & Company to evaluate its future options, including a potential Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing. Several people familiar with the matter told Wall Street Journal. Genesis that relationship with its parent company, Digital Currency Group, is also in the spotlight. Gemini founder Cameron Winklevoss issued an open letter to DCG founder Barry on Monday, claiming that DCG borrowed $1.675 billion from Genesis, which was denied by Barry. Officials from the U.S. Department of Justice Eastern District of New York and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission are investigating DCG's financial dealings with Genesis and delving into whether investors were told about the transactions. Bloomberg reported, a person familiar with the criminal investigation said the regulator's investigation of DCG began before FTX debacle. The FTX case is gradually coming to an end. The former CEO of the exchange, SBF, pleaded not guilty to charges of defrauding customers of digital assets worth millions of dollars on January 3rd and the trial is expected to begin on October 2nd. Lawyers for SPF also asked the judge to keep the identities of two people who will help SPF bail under wraps, saying they could face threats and harassment if their identities were discovered, which was granted by the judge. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office established the FTX task force to recover victims' assets and handle investigations and prosecutions related to the company and other entities. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.